A Michigan woman who caught COVID at the super spreader event that identified the first U.S. case of Omicron has a warning for everyone tonight. She spoke with Fox 2's Taryn Asher, and Taryn, she's an expert on the virus. Yeah, she is. Deborah Fur Holden is an epidemiologist who studies the outbreaks of diseases. The Flint woman never imagined she would be at the center of one. She hopes this will serve as a cautionary tale. I woke up on um, Tuesday with a scratchy throat. And um, I thought, hmm. Deborah Furholden doubted she had COVID. The epidemiologist, who is also a Dean of Public Health Integration for Michigan State University, attended a Wisconsin wedding for one of her former medical students. Many of the guests were medical experts who were vaccinated. Many of us are boosted. Many of us had negative COVID tests uh, 24 to 48 hours before the wedding. Yet this still happened. The following week, the bride called and broke the news. Some guests had tested positive for COVID and Deborah should test too. Turns out she was positive along with the bride and groom and a dozen medical professionals who work at Kaiser Permanente's Oakland Medical Center, which is now attributed to creating an Omicron super spread event. California health officials confirm those infected medical workers tested negative the week before, but ended up exposing nearly 40 of their co-workers and patients. She says the vaccinated guests wore masks at the wedding, but not at the reception. She explains it this way. Swiss cheese. No one layer is perfect. They all have holes in them. But as you begin to stack those layers up, you build a wall of protection between you and the virus. The problem is we put an overemphasis on the vaccine and de-emphasize all of those other layers of protection. Coincidentally, researching the genomic sequencing of the coronavirus to determine the strain and transmission rate is part of Deborah's role as a medical professional. The Omicron variant has now been discovered in half the states in our country. Deborah says the blame for the ongoing pandemic should be placed on more than the unvaccinated. The notion that once you're vaccinated, you can dish your mask, I think is a very dangerous message. If I had kept my mask on the entire time at that reception, I likely could have avoided contracting COVID. We may have COVID fatigue, but the virus does not. Her daughter caught COVID from her, but luckily her three-month-old granddaughter they immediately protected did not. For most, there may only be a few mild symptoms associated with the new variant. In fact, Deborah says you may not even realize you have it, which means we all have to be vigilant to stop the spread. If we could get more shots in arms and people would just keep with their masks for now, we could likely drop community spread down and start to get back to something more normal. And some people may be thinking right now, what's the big deal? The symptoms are just like a cold. Deborah says because what may not be a big deal for you could be life threatening for someone else. Monica, we have to keep that in mind. We have to think of other people and with all these big holiday gatherings going on, unless things change, it's likely this spread will only continue. Yes, and Deborah said, you know, she doesn't think people should live in fear or in isolation, but right now they need to avoid people who may have the virus, may think they might have the virus and practice precautions. Mm -hmm. And even though we're tired of it, that does include wearing a mask. Absolutely. Thanks, Taryn.